So, first of all, I was in a big rush this morning. My kids, my, okay, back up. My kids have been sick, uh, taking turns for the majority of the week. And this morning, my baby's fever finally broke. So both my kids decided to sleep in, which I was not anticipating because I had a doctor's appointment this morning. And they usually wake me up at about six and about seven, I realized that my kids were not up and my alarm had not gone off. So I was running late. And luckily I had bought a couple of Quest bars that I had been waiting for an opportunity to try. So this morning I had a chocolate chip cookie dough Quest bar for breakfast and it was amazing. If you have not had a Quest bar yet, it is fantastic. I think they're like four net carbs for a bar. Uh, they are protein bars though, so um, if you're trying to keep your fat up above your protein, you really have to plan this into your day or you'll end up really high in protein and not enough fat. Anyway, um, so at the doctor's office, I have lo it's been like, uh, how long has it been? I guess like nine weeks since I was in there and since then I've lost 14 pounds and my blood pressure is down um, it was let's see last time I was there it was like 120 over 80 which is what it normally is and today it was 102 over 60 which is pretty awesome um, before I was on the higher end of normal and now I'm on the lower end. So, uh, pretty excited about that. Um, recently, I was a little sick this week too, so this might be being sick, or it might be the keto. I have had some mucus in the back of my throat. Um, so, I will, that might be a little TMI. It's a little gross, but, you know, sometimes when I know before, I was on keto, this would happen when I ate a lot of carbs or if I ate a lot of fat, so I don't know if it's the keto or if it's if it's just being sick. So I'll update you guys on that later, because um, obviously it's unpleasant and somebody might not want to deal with that. But um, I thought I would uh, tell you some of my funny experiences since being on keto. Uh, the first one, which I find is uh, depressingly hilarious. I keep having dreams about um, cheating on keto and eating like a cupcake or cheesecake or pancakes or something and I wake up in the morning and I have actually gained weight overnight. Um, again, it's a little sad. It probably has nothing to do with the dreams, but it is funny. So um, let's see, another experience that I've had is... Um, and you know, I thought of all these things while I was driving and now I can't remember them. Um, oh yeah, so one thing that my mother suggested to me when I had kids was to test your kids' medicine before you gave it to them. That way you know if it's nasty or whatever. But my little one has been working on some teeth for a while and they don't sell the really soft teething tablets anymore. Um, I don't know if you guys know what those are or were, uh, but the FDA banned them a couple of years ago um, because I guess people were overdosing and having seizures. Uh, so they don't sell them anymore. But I was, I just happened to be at Whole Foods and found a different type of teething tablet with the homeopathic remedies. So I wanted to give them to my almost four month old, but I wanted to test them because these things are little sugar pellets, which I totally forgot. And I popped one in my mouth to see if it was gonna dissolve quickly in his mouth and totally freaked out because I remembered it was a sugar pellet and like spit it on the ground in the middle of the sh grocery store parking lot. And it was kind of embarrassing and funny and you know, um, freaked me out all at the same time. I'm like, what am I doing? This is ridiculous. So that is number two thing, funny thing that might happen to you when you are on keto 
is you might freak out over the carbs in your medicine. And I've seen a lot of people, um, I'm on this keto group on Facebook, and I've seen people who worry about um, taking communion wafers, taking cough drops, taking cough syrup. Um, you get really uh, worked up over where your carbs are coming from, whether it's medicine or, you know, religious rites that you're taking. Um, yeah, there were some other things that I will have to update later. I've got to get home now. But, yeah. So... Don't be too, um, don't get too worked up about any, like, what you're eating. Be ready to laugh at yourself because you're going to do some dumb things. It's going to be funny. It is not a hard diet, but you do get hypersensitive to things that are going on and things that you're doing. Anyway, keto on, guys. Enjoy your day, and I will post another video hopefully soon.